When Bruce Lee was laying the foundation for Jeet Kune Do, he did something unprecedented by incorporating grappling arts such as Judo and Jiu Jitsu into his striking game. After his death, his various students continued this study, further developing the ground game in Jeet Kune Do. Judo, Jiu Jitsu, Wrestling, Sambo, all of these are outstanding grappling arts. However, due in part to the rules of the sport and in part to teachers who have a strong devotion to the movements of just one particular style, it has become increasingly common to come across schools that don't prepare their students for all the potential situations that can arise once the fight goes to the ground. I have rolled with jujitsu players who have little to no punch protection. I have known judo players who don't know how to escape from back mount. It's not uncommon to come across schools that ignore half of the body by not teaching leg locks. In our school, we get back to the basics. It's not judo, it's not jujitsu, it's grappling. If someone is punching you, kicking you, choking you, or whatever it may be, you have to have a plan. There's no excuse not to have one. When you prepare yourself for a fight within the confines of a set of rules, when the rules are removed, you will lose. However, if you prepare yourself for any situation, then you can adapt to any situation. That's Jeet Kune Do Grappling.